Little more than a week after the Bureau of Meteorology declared a weather-weary nation rid of La Nina, the rains returned with a vengeance. It was only like a few days ago it wasn't even flooded and now it's like this. Sydney has since experienced its worst flooding since 1978. The disaster begged the question, if La Nina is gone, then why hasn't it stopped raining? The answer is an extraordinary one. Australia was swept by a breaking planetary wave. Planetary waves don't come from outer space. They're actually waves in the jet stream. The jet stream is a band of high altitude winds that cross Australia as it encircles the world. You might have come across the jet stream if you're taking an international flight. And if the jet stream is positioned right, it can make the length of the flight so much faster because you've got this strong stream of air pushing the plane. Disturbances can cause waves to form in the jet stream, just like waves in the ocean. Climate scientists call these waves in the jet stream planetary waves or Rosby waves. Recently, a very large Rosby wave triggered unseasonable dry season rain in the Northern Territory and torrential rainfall in New South Wales that led to flooding. So what can happen when the wave amplifies and ultimately breaks is you can get a blob of this colder Antarctic air that basically gets what we call cut off from these westerly winds that we talked about. And it just sits there for days at a time because it's been cut off from the fast moving jet stream. I guess it's like the spray of water that comes off a breaking wave. It's the white water almost that gets shot up into the sky. But in this case, it's getting pushed north. And when this occurs, we tend to get strong, persistent rainfall like we saw last weekend. And wave breaking events don't just cause flooding rain. A heat wave currently underway in Europe was driven by a breaking planetary wave, causing hot air from the Sahara Desert to flow north over Spain and Portugal.